Hello and welcome to Plus Sports on Plus TV Africa. It's Wednesday and um, it's been a Champions League week already. We've already had two matches and significant happenings have taken place last night and something else will likely happen tonight. We wait and see. But first, we'll start with Manchester United. Now, this story is kind of annoying to me because I feel like this great team is ruining a great and legendary player's uh, twilight to his career. Manchester United's interim manager, Ralph Rangnick, took aim at Atletico Madrid for time-wasting antics after his team was eliminated from the Champions League by the Spanish champions on Tuesday, March 15th. A Renan Lodi header in the 41st minute earned a 1-0 win on the night for Atletico and a 2-1 aggregate victory that puts them into the last eight. United had been on top before conceding against the run of play and they threw themselves forward after the break but came up against a solid Spanish defense. Atletico coach Diego Simeone was full of praise for his team's commitment. This team will dive into a swimming pool whether there is water in it or not, he said. Simeone also said he did not notice United fans hurling objects at him as he rushed off the pitch following the match. The incident will likely feature in the UEFA match delegates report on the game and that would trigger disciplinary investigation and any eventual sanction against the home team. I have Sheung with me, Sheung Ajidagwa. Sheung, hello. Sheung. Hello, good morning, Mikhail. Welcome on the show. It is my opinion that this Manchester United are ruining Ronaldo's legacy. Uh, a return to where he really blew up in Europe. And this is what he gets. Unfortunately, there have been con uh, talks and rumors about him leaving at the end of the season. Should Manchester United not uh, qualify for the Champions League. Now that they're out of the Champions League, all they are left with is the league, and they, that is not even in their hands. Qualification for top four. Right now, Arsenal sit in the fourth place with games in hand. Should Ronaldo leave this club at the end of the season? Yes, because you are ruining the legacy of the man who has scored the most goals in club football and national team football. And I listened to the interview of Ralph Rangnick. Permit me to use this word. That was a silly comment to say the guys were engaging in time wasting. Mm. This same Atletico Madrid were battered by Chelsea, home and away. When you beat someone well, the person will not even do any time wasting. Mm. Question is, what was United's tactics yesterday? They were only limiting themselves to possession. They could not have open the defense of Atletico Madrid. And so you ask yourself, why do we have such a comment coming at that time? United were clueless, baseless, idealist, and lacked that tactical strategy to have open a team. Well, yeah. And for me, United deserve what they got. Well, you're right about their Honestly, lacking uh, 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 clinical edge and ability to even open up the defense. A lot of their counterattacks seem to fail. But speaking of Chelsea, they, on the other hand, are having a match tonight against Lille, having led the first leg to Neil. But their particular uh, problems are uniquely different and completely further away from football than as far away from football as problems for a football club can get yet it might affect how or if they're even able to play the match tonight chelsea are dealing with british government restrictions on their operations in a professional manner and will do whatever it takes to advance in their champions league last 16 second leg tie at lille on wednesday coach Thomas Tuchel said on Tuesday, March 15th, Tuchel speaking on the eve of the return leg in France where they, they hold a two-goal advantage said the European champions had to make adjustments in how many staff are traveling and stay, staying in Lille. 
and that such discussions had never taken place before with an operations team taking care of all their needs. Tuku added that he did not have a choice in being the voice of the club in tumultuous two-week period and said he would continue to face questions about any new owner. On a statement on their official site, Chelsea briefly asked for Saturday's FA Cup quarterfinal game at Middlesbrough to be played behind closed doors for sporting integrity because they are unable to sell tickets to their team's away fans due to restrictions imposed by British government license. The London club said they uh, were well, in extensive discussions with the Office of Financial Sanctions Implementation but could not make amendments to the license in time to sell tickets to Chelsea fans for Saturday's game at the Riverside Stadium. We are currently in such a precarious position that there has been concerns that they might not even be able to make the trip to uh, Lille for their second leg. Staff reductions have had to be made on those who will be traveling with the team. And even Kai Havertz mentioned that he would be willing to pay for his uh, tickets to fly. Um, how likely is Ch this to affect Chelsea uh, negatively? Or will it bring them together and probably even push them forth to potentially get to the Champions League final and win it, just like uh, the adversity of 2012? While I agree that some of the decisions taken by the UK government on Roman Abramovich, who has invested so much in Chelsea since buying from Cambridge in 2003, are quite um, difficult. The honest truth is some of the damning revelations that are revealed about Roman are very, very shocking. And for the request of uh, Thomas Tuchel to have their game against Middlesbrough in the FA Cup play behind those doors, please allow me to use this word. I think something is wrong with the medal of Langata of Thomas Tuchel. Somebody is playing at home. You want the fans of the home team to be denied of seeing their, their team play. Don't forget that this is not a fight against Chelsea. It's a fight against Thomas Tuchel, but unfortunately, it's affecting the club. Where you are not allowing them to sell souvenirs, you are not allowing them to sell tickets, they are freezing their accounts, you are doing all sorts of things. Uh, they were meeting the idea of not playing. If you don't play, it means Lille have progressed to the quarter final. But I think, in spite of the problems that are plaguing Chelsea, they still have enough quality to progress to the quarter final. All right, thank you, Shane. Where they will Shane. take it up from there is dependent. All right. Thank you, Sean. I appreciate your candor. Um, certainly the, uh, the wise words. Now, we'll move on to tennis, where Matteo Berrettini won four five straight games to beat Lloyd Harris on Tuesday and reached the fourth round at Indian Wells. The Italian had trailed 2-5 before breaking Harris twice. To take the match 6-4, 7-5, the sixth seed moves on to face Serbian Miomir Kekmanovic next. I leave you with this story and thank you to Sheon Ajidagba for joining me on the show today. Uh, to, everyone else, the, to everyone else at home, at work, wherever you are, um, thank you for joining us. My name is Mukhail Tinubu. It's always a pleasure having you. And remember, life is never boring with some sports. Have a wonderful day.